Hello there, Steve the Brave here. Um, I'm gonna do a quick review of a couple movies I've seen lately. Um, some good, some bad. Yeah, um, so I'll just start. First one is, uh, I'll just do them in chronological order. Valkyrie. Valkyrie was good. 7 out of 10 for me. I'd recommend it. Go see it. Uh, it was, I, at first I thought, I don't like Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise, I think, is, he's not a great actor, and he's, you know, Scientology and all that craziness. But, uh, it, it didn't really feel like a Tom Cruise movie. Like, I mean, maybe that's just because he couldn't see part of his face, but, I don't know. It was good. It was like, I mean, it, it's a little annoying that they weren't speaking German, but other than that, it was a pretty good movie. You know, it was, uh, it was pretty clean, except for this, this bothers me. Why? One swear word, Uno, in the whole movie, guess what it is? The F word. Of course, because we gotta get that rating higher. That's annoying. I don't like that. Next movie is, um, next movie, Slumdog Millionaire. Uh, 6 out of 10. It wasn't quite as good as everybody said, to be honest. It was alright. It wasn't... Like, some people were ecstatic over this movie. It was just the greatest movie since sliced bread, you know? It was... It was alright. It was It was definitely... Of the movies that were nominated for Best Picture, definitely the best. Hands down. The other movies that were being nominated were stupid beyond, like... They were either just bad, or they were stupid, or whatever. It's definitely the best. That's hard that goes. Um... So, 6 out of 10. If you don't have anything else better to do, I guess you could watch it. Uh, let's see. Pink Panther 2. I thought this was going to be stupid. Actually, Pink Panther 2 and Maul Blart... Yeah, Maul Blart. <laughs> Paul Blart Maul Cop. I thought this was going to be really stupid. Uh, the Pink Panther 2. I thought I was going to be like, like, oh, it's a sequel. It's going to be dumb. Most people are going to disagree with me because it got bad reviews. I thought it was funny. I thought it was really funny. I, I'd probably give it like 7.5 out of 10 because it was. It, I, th I laughed a lot during this movie. Now, that might be because I went to see it with people, and when you go to see a comedy with people, you're going to laugh more. But it was funny. It was really funny, I thought. Um, if you can take racial jokes, I guess. But it, it, it was. I don't know. I just thought it was funny. Paul Blart Mall Cop. I really didn't laugh all that much. It just wasn't all that funny. That's all I have to say, really. Four and a half out of ten, I guess. If you really don't have anything good to do, I guess you could watch it. It's kind of worth time. Um, let's see. Defiance. Oh, no, no, no. Marley and Me. Marley and Me was stupid. Three out of ten. Not even that funny. That's all I have to say for that one. Defiance. I thought I was going to love Defiance. I didn't. It was... I'd give it maybe five out of ten, I guess. Some of the fighting, you know, the action scenes are all right. It was it basically it was inconsistent. It went at a steady rate, and all of a sudden, you know, like time is crawling, crawling, crawling. And also, like, oh, the Germans know we the Germans know that we're here in the woods. Oh, oh, boy, there's a plane, and there's only like a ten minute interval there. Like it's just all of a sudden things go from slow, 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 so like fast. So it it just it was. It was stupid, and there was a lot of swe like way more swearing at it than I thought it was gonna be. That disappointed me. And um, uh, no, just it, it wasn't it wasn't as good. It, um, what's next? All right, one more. The Oxbow Incident. I usually don't review really old movies, um, but this one people need to see. I, I never saw this movie before. It's from 1942. It's called The Oxbow Incident, starring Henry Fonda uh, and Harry Morgan. Um, it's a short movie based on a novel. It, it's like one of the best like old westerns I've ever seen. It was great. It was uh, it was really philosophical and deep and everything. And you know, people, a lot of people, are like, oh, I don't really watch old movies. Well, you should because old movies are consistently better. Uh, I, I give this one 8 out of 10, which brings me to my last one, The Day the Earth Stood Still. Worst movie of 2008. And that's where it comes in, watch old movies instead of new movies. If it's a remake, it's going to be dumb. Almost always, it's going to be dumb. Uh, day, the Day the Earth Stood Still is a waste of time beyond words. It was so stupid, I can't even like, you know, the, the first like 15 minutes I was thinking this might actually be kind of cool. 
But then as soon as the, the CGI alien steps out of the craft, I was like, nope, there it goes right there. And then, and then basically the whole movie is a platform for environmental, for environmentalists, is basically what it is, you know. One thing I appreciated about it, I have to say, it was clean. That was nice. You know, you don't have to watch it and you're listening to all swearing and blasphemy and all this stuff. But it was, it was, it was just like, you know, humans are being bad to the planet and so the aliens are gonna come destroy the humans to save the planet because beetles and bugs back to us. It was, it was, it was stupid. It was, it was just stupid, stupid, like, I can't even, yeah. Anyways, that's all the reviews I got for you today. Um, we had it. Oh, no. One. One out of ten. I'm gonna do this. It's horrible. Uh, that's all I got. See you later.